All right, we'll go ahead and get started here. Uh, Flames quarterback Malik Willis with us this week as the Flames prepare to return home, face UMass. Uh, Malik, you guys got the win, come from behind on the road at North Texas. Uh, before we take some questions from the media, I'll just ask you how prep has been this week and uh, how are you feeling physically heading into this game? I think prep has been good. We've been trying to make sure we uh, stay focused and stay locked in on, on this week and not uh, get our heads in the past or anything and just figure out that uh, we have a lot of games left and that we have an opportunity to go out there and get some more wins uh, on top of being bowl eligible. It's just uh, we're trying to get the icing on the cake, as coaches like to say. Facing a team like UMass that's that's struggled so much, uh, how do you approach this game and, and keep yourself mentally locked in, knowing that they've struggled, but still they're a Division One football team? It doesn't matter if they struggle or not. It doesn't. They have they they have good players just like we do. I mean, we're all players that came from high school and went to a university. Nothing changed but the school. Maybe they haven't won games, but North Texas was good. They hadn't won a lot of games. <laughs> Louisiana Monroe was good. They hadn't won a lot of games. You can't judge a person by their, you know what I'm saying, schedule and they uh, win their losses. Because it can win or lose by an inch in a game. You can win or lose by one play. You can win or lose by a large amount of things, and you just can't just put them in a bracket of, oh, they're not that good because they they haven't won that many games. So those guys are good, and they work hard. I mean, as they, what they put on film, they definitely improved since last year. And then we said the same thing last year. They had improved from last year. And when you got people that want to keep improving and keep getting better, you can't count them out. That's how I feel about it. <laughs> so it's not a choice not to stay alert and stay focus you got to or you go out there and get your bus banked at home turn to the media now let's go to damien from the news in advance hey Malik, how's your foot feeling my foot is fine thank you uh, treatment going well this week mm -hmm. yeah and uh, when you go back and look at what happened do you feel like it was just the in the heat of the moment with how your foot got tangled up there underneath the body that you thought it was worse than what it actually was? No, it was hurting bad. But <laughs> it felt better after a little minute, and I love praying, so I don't know. No, it wasn't no exaggeration, though. But they got me right, though, for sure. It's amazing, really, how they got me right, because I was like, what's y'all do to me? And then I, <laughs> I was practicing, I was like, oh, but I feel like normal. And I was just happy, really uh, grateful. I, I, I you know I thank him. I thank him a lot. I like, thank you. I was scared. Let's go to Emily from Flame Central. Hey, Malik, how's it going? How you doing? Loved your sports spectrum thing um, that came out yesterday. That was awesome. Um, so we're doing the In the Fire in the quarterback room in Ken Austin this week. So my question is about your relationship with Ken Austin. How How is it? Hey, that's How the man. That's the man. He not gonna yell at you. He not gonna argue with you. That boy gonna tell you the truth. He gonna tell you what it is, and he's just that guy that's gonna be honest with you and try to get you as the best as you can be. And he know every song ever. <laughs> we be playing. He knows every what? Every song ever. We be uh, we listen to music at practice. He be like, but here come on to you, like, well, who sung this song? I'm like. I don't know. I heard it on a movie, though. And then he was like, uh, and then he'll name it. He knows every song. And take me through one of your phone calls with him during a game, whenever he asks you to get on the phone. Um, It's more or less him checking my temperature or uh, telling me what he's seeing up in the box and comparing it to what I'm seeing down there and maybe what kind of plays we want to run against what they're trying to do to us or something like that. Uh, let's go next to Ed from the Fast Lane, CBS Sports Radio. Malik, obviously we know you want to be in on every single meaningful snap, but you know, in the event something happens like this past Saturday where uh, Stetson ends up coming in for a period of time, take us through, uh, or Jonathan, Jonathan Bennett, mm. give us what it's like in the quarterback room for you preparing him in case he has to take snaps uh, in a game like he did this past Saturday. Uh, I think it's a continuous process of all of us trying to get each other better. I mean, we all out there trying to do the same thing. 
we all out there trying to be help our offense be successful. I mean, regardless of who in there, we have to all give our pieces of you know help and our pieces of criticism and our pieces of advice on how to operate out there, and we just got to continue to try to be there for each other. Only one quarterback can play at once, but that don't mean it has to be like a negative space. I mean, it's a, I think it's more positive in this group, and it's about you know competing and helping each other get better and helping us all produce at the you know, most efficient we can produce. Malik, do you sort of take the lead on that, just trying to foster that relationship, that, that positive vibe in that quarterback room as far as everybody working together, encouraging each other? Uh, is that something that you really kind of take the lead on? Yeah, it's offense versus defense, not offense versus offense versus offense versus all the way down to 11. I mean, if I see some, uh, if I'm over there standing with, you know, Nate or Caden or, you know, Will or Sean, I'm going to be like, hey, you see that right there? I don't think that's going to be open, but it's probably going to be open. And then we see the coverage mature, and I was like, I told you. And then, <laughs> and then now we all learn it. We all see what's going on, and I can help them grow as, you know, players, uh, even if they're not getting as many reps right now. Because at the end of the day, you never know what can happen, and you never know uh, when your time is going to come. Let's go back to Damian, then Emily. Hey Malik, with the with the balance of this RPO offense, uh, have you feel like the running game, you know, from the tailbacks like J Mac, TJ Shadra, just hasn't gotten going this year, and it's forced you to run more, and also a lot. And it seems like the offensive line just protection wise just hasn't been as solid as we've seen in the past. Mm, I don't know. I know we had a good practice yesterday. I know we had a good practice today. Everything else in the past, it is what it is. Uh, and, and I don't know. I mean, them boys run hard. Them boys block hard. So I'm proud of them, whatever they got to bring to the table. And I'm going to try to bring what I got to the table. And we're going to go out there together. And that's all it's going to be. But they definitely had a great practice yesterday and today. So I'm looking forward to uh, tomorrow's practice and we can finish the week right. Co- or, sorry, Malik, at the quarterback position, how important is the film room? That's like glasses with lenses. That's like, you know what I'm saying? That's like water and soap when you wash your hands. Uh, you need it. <laughs> it's not a, you know, pre- it's not a, like option. It's a prerequisite. <laughs> you better watch that film or you're going to be out there not knowing what you're doing. You're going to be seeing ghosts. You're just going to have a bad day. You're going to be very frustrated with yourself. It's just going to be bad. I I know this. This is for the piece. I'm oh, not... my bad. <laughs> Preparation but, is key. No, but that's a great answer because that's what we're trying to explain in the in the fire piece. Um, my other question is what kind of treatment are you doing this week for your foot? Uh, don't look like none no more. That's on straight now. You're not doing any sort of rehab? No, I straight now. All right. Feeling good. Let's go back to that. All right. To, to, to build on Emily's question about the film room, how soon do you start looking at film from a game? Is it on the, you know, like Saturday, was it on the flight back from North Texas? Is it the following day on Sunday? Is it Monday? Is it just an all day, every day kind of thing? I mean, it's a combo, really. I mean, it just depends what time we play. Like, if we play. Well, it's, it depends on if it's home or away, too. So if it's away, like when I get back, get home, probably take a shower, and I'll probably see if the film's up because it just depends on if it get uploaded or not, on how late it is. But I definitely watch it Sunday by myself, and then we watch it uh, again as a team Monday, and we figure out the mistakes that the coaches think we made after we already got our own. Uh, and then Tuesday, we're on to the next week. I mean, it's on to the next. Well, it's really on to the next Monday because, I mean, we practice and well, we do all that in the morning. So, like, the afternoon and evening, it's up to you to, you know, get started for the week. And then we got practice Tuesday and you start, you know, game planning. Along those lines, when you watch film, I mean, certainly you're trying to stay within the framework of the, of the offense. But do you sometimes see things and you're like, okay, I, I know I can do this and I can beat that because of my ability. Does that question make sense? It makes sense, but, I mean, I just kind of watch more or less for them 
for the defense that we're playing. I don't really watch to see. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. This can get real complicated real fast. So I'm not even gonna do that. I watch film for a lot of reasons. <laughs> I just say that. <laughs> I'm not trying to pry anything. I just no, I'm you're to, not. Like, just get inside I, your head the, as far as like how you watch film. The way like, I am, without, I was gonna explain yeah. everything, and I just don't need to do that right now because I gotta work out. <laughs> Nick, he is looking for their weaknesses. <laughs> I'll say it. Got it. Um, if anybody else doesn't have anything, I'll ask you one more. Um, just, I know you were looking for a brave score after the game the other night. You're from Atlanta. Ooh. <laughs> how, much, how much are you? Uh, how excited are you that they're in the World Series? How much are you keeping track? Man, I'm keeping track as much as I can. As long as I'm not watching film or you know, doing anything, even though I check the updates and stuff, for sure. Well, uh, yeah, I'm proud of them boys, man. I feel like a bandwagon, though, because everybody keep calling me a bandwagon. I'm like, bro, I live there. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I went to a game last time I was at home. Like, I still be checking the scores every time they be playing, so.